will uh, say something. Something should know? happen here. I don't know. You're supposed to tell me about the gold show. We're supposed to get a yes. telegram here. You're supposed to get a telegram for. Where's the stage You're manager? Supposed to get a to telegram for my my uncle or something. Where's the stage manager? Never mind. So they forgot the telegram. So I'll tell a story. Once upon a time. Telegram. Once upon a time. Telegram for Luke Costello. Once upon a time there was a telegram for Luke. See what I mean? Yeah. Uh, there it is. It was early. Just a minute. What branch of the Western Union are you from? Santa Monica Beach. She's from the Santa Monica Beach. So what? Uh, if I want to send an answer to this telegram, how do I get to Santa Monica Beach? Well, you go all the way out Wilshire Boulevard till you get to the ocean, then you turn west. How far west? Till your hat starts to float. <laughs> you know, uh, we didn't have to have her come in in the first place, did we? But it's still good advice. <clears throat> Let me see. Oh. Hey, the show is starting now. Yeah, all right, wait a minute. This is from your Uncle Tom. Get this. He struck gold in Alaska. Boy, we're rich. What do you mean, we're rich? That's my Uncle Tom. What's the difference? Uncle, smunkle. We're rich. Let's go Let's home. Let's go and... home and pack. Come on. Come here, come here. Where are you? What's the matter with you? Now, look at it. Watch with this bank. I, I want to take it down to the bank so I can get you a loan. You want to get me a loan? I want to get you a loan in the bank. What do I get me a loan in the bank for? You got me open, open the room and house, you got me a loan, you got me a loan on the street here. Now you got to get me in the bank alone. I don't understand. No, I've got to get... I like other people around me. Wait a minute, but I've got to get you a loan. We need the money, don't you understand? What a... we, uh, we'll get this money, and then when we get to Alaska, we'll hire some dogs and a dog sled, and then we'll start to mush. Sure. <laughs> Let me have that again. I say we'll start to mush. I don't need no dog sleds to do any mushing. I do all my mushing in a car. You can't mush in a, in a car. I do all my mushing in a car. You've got to have dogs and a dog sled to do mushing. How can you do mushing in a car? Now, come on, let's go down to the bank. As soon as the bank opens, we'll make our loan and get that trip of ours off our chest. But you know there's only... It's open. Open? How can it be? What time you got? Well, it's not banking hours. How can it all be open? I... Hey, there's something wrong. Come on. Come on. Hey, look. Come on. Hey, they're all tied up. Hey, fellas, what happened? Oh, stop this mumble. Now, what happened? That's enough. That's enough, fellas. If you don't want to tell me what happened, then we can't help you. Can't you see he's got a gag in his mouth? Well, if he has, he never had a chance to tell it. We've got to help him. Uh-oh, look who's here. Take it easy now. <clears throat> Why, Lewis. Hillary, what are you doing here? The bank, bank is closed. Oh, well, I saw the door open, so I came in. What are you doing here? Well? Ah, uh, it's nice to see that you're trying to work. I'd like to make a deposit. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Now, wait a minute, bud. What are you doing with that money? What's the matter with you? You can't take that money. Now, listen, everybody around here thinks I'm a dope, but the one thing I am not is dishonest. What do you think I was going to do, steal it? Well, I don't know, but put that money in a drawer where it belongs. Oh, they are. That's much better. What's the matter? What's that button on the floor? Well, I don't know. struck a rich up in Alaska. Gold. He struck gold. Plenty of gold. Gold? Yeah. yeah he struck gold. I did, struck a bullet. Did you get the loan? No, we couldn't get the loan. Now we can't go up and collect the, the gold. Well, uh, do you need a partner? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, sure. We can use your partner, can we, bud? Sure. Well, I got a little money. How much? Well, I think about $200. Oh, sure. A <laughs> partner to gold mine. Yeah. <laughs> Put it right over there. There. Okay, partner. <laughs> oh, now I'm awfully sorry for everything I've ever done to you, Lou. Mr. Abbott, you take him right home and take good care of him. Yeah, right away. Remember, we're partners. Right on. Go home. I'm rich. <laughs> What are you doing? 
I'm putting on a mustache so that cop won't recognize me. There. That a good disguise? Ah! All right. It's me, a dope. Come on. Hey, how oh, wait a Boy, we must have run around the block five times to get away from that cop. We got the money? Yeah, well, give me that money. You know how to handle money. Well, I have to give you the money for it. was my uncle struck the ball. All right, it's your money. Take Next care of it. I've got nothing to do with it. Now I've really got you two. Are you telling me that your uncle struck gold in Alaska? Where did give he come Give me that money. I'm really going to run you in. Uh, what's the trouble, officer? Oh, this little delinquent here said his uncle struck gold in Alaska. Oh. Try to take me for 200 bucks. Mm, that's all right, officer. I know these boys. I'll vouch for them. Yeah, who are you? Commissioner Leonard, the police department. Oh, Commissioner. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Someday you won't have anybody around to get you out of these scrapes. Thanks, mister. Thanks, Commissioner. It's quite all right. So you struck old the last No, my uncle struck old the Oh, she. Well, <laughs> I'd like to take you boys inside and buy a little drink. Uh, oh, no. uh, every time you go into a saloon, the devil goes in behind you. If he does, he buys his own drink. I... Oh, how come you'll be lucky if I can get you into other places always crowded with people? You, you think do a big get... business? Oh, yeah. tremendous. Can you get us in? I should say, come, come. Come, come hey, hey, wait a minute. What's wrong? All I drink is cream soda. Cream soda? Yeah, they well, got... Well, I'll see what I can do for you. Cream soda. He'll do something first. All right, boys, let's have a drink. Okay. No, 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 not this bar. It's too crowded. I beg your pardon? I said the bar is too crowded. Crowded. Why is too crowded? Hey, what kind of commissioner is this guy? I don't know. Ask him. What kind of commissioner are you? Shh. Betting commissioner. Oh. Shame the proprietor isn't here. How about a little lunch? Let's go over to free lunch counter right here. Very delectable food. Where, 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 where? Right here. Dig in. Go ahead. Are you kidding? Fine, very tasty. Go ahead. What are you, a hog? Save a little for your pal. Well, the proprietor's here. Hello, Joe. I want you to meet a couple of friends of mine. They're my guests here, hmm? They have it. Shake hands with Joe over there. Where is he? Right over there by the bar. Hello, Joe. Joe? Shake hands with Luke Costello. Joe Small. Who? Joe Small. He's so small, I can't even see him. Hands with him. Hi, Joe. What do you have to drink? What do you have? Uh, I'll have a beer. Set up a beer for the band. What do you have? Small cream soda. Small, small cream soda? Yeah. <laughs> Give him a small cream soda. He's a nice little chap. <laughs> There's your beer, my boy. There's your cream. I'll have a beer, too. Well, here's luck. Can I have another one? Surely you can, boy. Only this time I'd like to have a big one. I, I couldn't even feel the last one. You'd like a big drink? Yeah, big cream well, soda. Well, that's quite all right with us. Uh, say, Joe, I'll tell you what you do. He'd like to have a big drink. Let him drink out of that cut glass bowl. Hmm? It's an old family heirloom. I'll stand behind him. Just fill it up. The cut glass bowl, that's it. Yours was a beer, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, same thing. There's your beer, my boy. Cut glass bowl. Oh, right to the brim, too. Yeah, get a hold of this bowl, will you? What is that? Filled up with cream soda. Get a hold of it. Put your arms around it. That hold on tight. Stick your hands in it. That's right. Don't drop it. That's expensive. Huh? Don't drop it. Well, here's our... Joe, I didn't mean to do it. It was heavy, Joe. I'm here to pay you for it. I didn't... Don't. Look, you better sweep up the place. Joe, who am I talking to? Come on, Joe, Joe has a nice little temper. He's laughing at that. I ain't nothing on the floor. Sweep it up. Sweep it up. <laughs> Come on, get going. The people are here to clap the cut. Joe, 
I don't like the nasty look in your face. Well, it was an accident. He didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to, John. I told you. I told you I'd stand behind him. I haven't got the money now, but I'll leave it in. Don't worry about and it, Joe. Next week, I have a lot of money for my uncle. But Joe, listen. Now, wait a minute. Don't come behind that bar. Stay where you are. Well, yeah, stay over there where you belong, Joe. Joe, don't lose your I'm temper, you, whatever Joe. you do, Joe. Hey, hey, hey. Now, wait a minute, Joe. I bought these boys in here. I can protect them. They're my parents, you understand? Now, stay with them, Joe. Don't pull that knife. Joe, you forced me to pull the gun if you pull that knife. Now, don't do it. Take that. First degree. They're gonna hang me by the neck until I'm dead. Yeah. Oh. Wait a minute. They're walking me up the 13 steps. They're putting the rope around my neck. It's getting tighter. Tighter. They're choking me. Give me a little water. Oh, give me water. My throat is getting dry. I gotta have water. 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 Yeah, that, that's the kind of guy to stop us from getting uh, in trouble with the cop. Come cop. on, let's get out. Come of on. Wait a minute. What's the matter? What did you say, Joe? Come on. Oh, no, you don't. You can't pull that stuff on us. Come on. Now, wait a minute. That's a pal of mine. That's my buddy. He's never harmed anyone in his life. You gonna do what? You're coming over the bar. <laughs> don't come over that bar, Joe. Don't dare come over, I'm warning you, Joe. Get it, Joe. Get it, I'm gonna give it to you, Joe, I'm warning you. Don't come over that bar. What'd I do? Joe shot again. Joe. Joe. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to shoot you, Joe. It was all a mistake. Joe. What's that? The cops. The cops, you got me in this. I told you to stay out of saloons. I can see it all now. The jury's filing in. They found me guilty. Guilty of murder in the first degree. They're putting a rope around my neck. They're choking me. Give me water. Give me water. Give me water. <laughs> what did you say, Joe? Now listen, Joe. I'm tougher than the other two guys. Now listen, Joe, don't come over that bar. If you come over that bar, I'll shoot you. Now don't come over, Joe. Now let's have it. Now let's have it, Joe. Joe. Now let's have it. Joe. I'll stab you, Joe. I shot him with a knife. Joe. Joe. Look, he's all laid out. Joe. Blood. Blood. Look, I, I took it straight. Joe, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Ding, 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 ding. Cops, don't take me. Please don't take me. Please don't take me to the gallows. Please, I'm innocent. I'm a little boy. My uncle just broke gold. Please let me go to Alaska. Don't take me, will you please? The rope around my neck. Please, Joe. Don't let him take me, Joe. Speak to me, Joe. Don't let him take me, will you? Ha, 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 ha. Everything is in fun. And we do have a lot of fun between ourselves. You be I it, Hey, wait a minute. How come you got dried so fast? I stayed out in the sun. Yeah. And another thing while we're on that subject. How come you and the other guy, when you did the thing in that, that saloon there about give me the stuff, uh, you didn't get it? <laughs> yeah, give you what stuff? You know, when you says, hey, they got me by the troll, they got me by the troll, call the cops. Right. What you do, Joe? Bang, bang. So give me the stuff, give me the stuff. What? You didn't get it, but I got it. What stuff? When, when, I'm not going to say it because I ain't going to get it anymore. Nah, well, listen, we've got to get some money. 
I've got it. What? We'll go up and put a touch on Mr. Fields. We'll go see Mr. Fields? Mr. Fields. Okay. The second act is now on. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Make a pig pen out of my place? Costello, come yeah. You imbecile! What are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Fields. What are you nervous about? You're ruining my place. Uh, Do you realize what you've done? Now pack your things and get out of here! Now, wait a minute, Mr. Fields. I want to show you something. Take a look at that wire. Just take a look at it. My uncle struck gold in Alaska. Well, That's Costello, all. this is wonderful. Well, my boy. Oh, you're getting dirty. Oh, well, I'll help finance your trip. You need some money? Oh, well, we could use a few dollars. That's yes. fine. Now, promise me one thing. Yeah, what? When you come back from Alaska, bring me some of that gold ore. Gold ore? Yes. Gold ore what? Just gold ore. Well, it's got to be gold or something. Gold or nothing. Just gold or. It can't be gold or nothing. It's got to be gold or something. No, no, no. You don't understand. You see, gold comes from ore. You see, first you dig the gold, and then you smell it. How, how could I smell it if I got a cold? No, never mind the cold. You smell the ore. You, you see, you've got to smell it. First you dig the gold up, and then you smell it. Why should I dig the gold up if it's going to smelt? If you, it smelts, I ain't going to dig it up. You must dig it up. I won't dig it up. If it's going to smelt, I'm going to leave it in the ground and I'm going to shove dirt on it and bury it deeper and deeper. No, no, no. You don't understand. What I'm trying to explain to you is that you've got to smelt the gold. First you smelt it and then it comes out refined. But that doesn't make any sense. I mean, if the gold is smelt and you smelt the gold, why is it so refined and why does it smell? Costello! Costello, what are you doing out there? Hey, Abbott, come here. <laughs> Mr. Fields is going to finance our trip to Alaska. Well, wonderful, Mr. Fields. And when we get to Alaska, we'll send Mr. Fields some gold ore. Gold ore what? Uh, now, that's enough for that. Don't give me that single key that Mr. Fields... I'm not, I don't, I don't want to... You know, it's not polite to sneeze when I'm talking. Well, my foot is ringing wet. I've got to go and change my shoes. I, I'll see you later, Mr. i got to help him. My best tenants. Uh, great boy. Get your shoes and socks off. off. I'll get the pail of water over there and I'm going to fix your old feet up. Well, go ahead and do it. Stand up, I'm all in, argue and argue. Take it easy now. Wait till I get my socks off. Okay. Put them in there. All right. Now, what I got to put in there? Uh, get the uh, Epsom salts. Don't I look like a house mother? Yeah, you're all right. Go ahead and get it. <laughs> You got, you got to take, take the sock off. It, it, I'm it. taking it off. Get Put it. the Epsom salts in there. What are you afraid of? I paid for it. That a boy. Get it all in because it's going to do your footies good. That's a boy. That's what my mother used to do for me. That's the way I wanted it. That's well. Hey, bud. What? I don't want to see him ignorant. But this thing out in the hallway with Mr. Fields about that gold door, I just don't quite understand it. Well, what's wrong with it? I, I don't understand. Well, he was only talking about gold or Lou. Yeah, but I don't understand that whole kind of talk. Well, Costello, you don't understand. It's a mining term. You see, when you uh, mine for gold, you have to strike a, a, a vein of gold. See, vein, vein of gold. You strike a vein? You strike a vein. Vein, uh, gold comes from veins. Is that why your legs are so lumpy? Yes, yeah, sure. Listen, I don't know. Right. Right. After all, you just told me something. I, I don't know. Well, I'm trying to tell you what, what's why. Well, go ahead. When you're mining for gold, you see, you dig deep into the ground. Dig deep. Yeah. Until you come to a vein in the ground. A vein of gold. And you, when you strike the vein, it, the deeper you dig, uh, the more veins you find, and they get closer and closer together. Ah, now I understand. Well, that's so so. Just like my grandfather's. Your grandfather's? Yeah, he's got very close veins. He's got, what are you talking about? I'm only trying to understand it. Well, I'm trying to tell you if you keep quiet. Listen, quiet, please, quiet, will quiet. you? Now, if you follow the main vein, see? You get a way down deep along the main vein, that's when you come to the mother load. Do you understand that? That's when you strike your mother load. I beg your pardon? You strike the mother load. You, you, you hit your mother vein. That's enough. What's the matter? 
I've heard everything from you and Mr. Fields. What's the matter with you? I never again want to hear anything like that from you, Bud Abbott. You must be smirching the good name of Lou Costello when you say to me that I gotta go down in the mine and strike my mother in the vein while she's carrying a load. Bud Abbott, that's going too far. And I don't go for this. I don't go for that. I'm gonna kick you right in the head. Uh, what's the matter? I can't move. I'm paralyzed. Paralyzed? Yeah. You didn't even have a drink. I, I can't move my legs. Are you sure you can't move? I can't move. Positive? Positive. Look. Let me see you try to do... Look at that. You can't do nothing. I can't do nothing. Well, just a minute. You know, Bud Abbott, I've been waiting to get you in something like this for a long time. What do you mean? And you can't move. I can't move. Positively? Positively. You know what I'm going to do to you? What are you going to do? Don't you ever do that to me. Get me out of this. What did you do? What did you put in here? I put in the Epsom salts. That is not Epsom salts. That's what I put in. I'll get the box. Let me here. see it. Epsom salts. Epsom, Epsom salts. There it is. Cement. Cement. You're right there. All right, so get me out of this. When you watch your blood pressure, I'll get you out. Get me out of this. Get me out. Take it easy. Fire! 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 What are you hollering fire for? If I yell cement, you think anybody's going to come? Get me out of here. I don't care how you fire! get me out of here. Where's the fire? Get me out of this thing. Look what he did to me. Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Get me out of this thing. What's the matter? He put some in it here. I can't move. Well, now, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't You're worry. very fortunate. I'll figure this thing out. It so happens that you're very lucky. I'm lucky. I went to engineering school for four years, and I'll take care of it. Get you out of there in a minute. Get me out of here. You got a cold chisel? Cold chisel. Just so happens I have one on me. I... No. How about a sledgehammer? Sledgehammer. How about one of those little ones that I knocked the tacks on the wall to keep the pictures? All on? right, get that. Anything, get me out Take of here. Easy. Take it easy. Take, Take it easy. Tree. 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 All right, Mr. Rabbit, now you hold this right here. Uh, now you hold that. Hold the chisel. Good. Now, take it easy. I'll do the rest. Now. Take it easy now. One, two. Go ahead. <laughs> I thought, Mr. Rabbit. Yes. We'll have to figure out something else. Let me see. Costello. Will you Costello. get off your knees and help Mr. Fields? Why? I think he's fallen asleep. I, I'll have to wake him up. Fine. Come on, boy. Come on. Wake up, boy. Wake up. This is no time to fall asleep. You've got to help me with Mr. Rabbit here. Wake up. What's the matter with you? I'm up. you got to help me. Oh, but for heaven. I've got to take care of you first. I got to get him out of that hole so he can help me get you out of the bucket. Here, here, come on, that way. <clears throat> no. What are you trying to hang me? Don't get excited. I'm an engineer, you know. Wait a minute, I got it. I got it. Come on. <clears throat> Hold it. <clears throat> no, I got it. This is a problem in leverage, my boy. <laughs> Leave it to old Fieldy. I'll get you out of there in no time. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Leverage, that's the secret. Now, put your chin under there. That's the boy now. Are you ready? Hold oh, tight now. Don't get excited. One, two. No, I'm sorry, that didn't work either. Mr. Fields. Yeah? Just what are you trying to do? I've got to get you out of that hole. Why didn't you say so? Get Hold that chisel. Get come me on. out of Get here. Something. Hold that cold chisel. We'll take one more try with the sledgehammer. Now, come on. Hold it. I'll wait out of his way. Just a minute. minute. Just a minute. Put this over your shoulder. I want to okay. see where this is going to hit if I'm going to hold it. Come on. Way. Hold it. Now, wait a minute. Over this way a little further. Okay. Now, go ahead. Are you ready now? One. Go ahead. I'm not nervous. <laughs> Now, Ooh. which one of you assassins just tried to kill me with this? I'm no stool pigeon. He did it. You... Mr. Mike, I'm glad you got here. We've got to get this man out of the cement. We're in trouble. Well, if it's trouble you're in, I'm your man. Oh, yeah, that is hard. Well, we'll have to blast him out. <laughs> you got any gunpowder? That's the one thing I don't happen to have right now. Oh, well, never mind. I'll take some out of these cartridges. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to blast you out. Well, 
Mr. Right. Fields, will you dig a hole in there? Well, sure, hey. I'll be glad to. What do you What do you want me to do? Hey, if I told you, you wouldn't do it. <laughs> All right, I'll move it. More. Ah, just stick around. You're going to see something. I, I, I think he's right. I'm going to see plenty. Now, when I touch a match to that, it'll explode, and that man will be free. Well, well, he did. Oh, well, maybe so, but you want him out of the bucket, don't well, you? I never thought of that. Yeah. He's right, Evan. Now, here, give me your foot. Huh? Give me your foot. I want to land a match. Give me your foot with a shoe on. Get with it. Now, when I like that, it'll explode. Go ahead. Costello, what happened? Why, you all have me? That was a mess. And your fault, too. What was the idea of sticking my feet in the cement and blackening up my face? What was the meaning of that? I'm sorry. Never mind me. What about the folks? What have you got to say to them? Good night. Good night. Yeah, come on. Are you kidding? Stand there and taste it. Go ahead. What are you, a hog? Save a little for your pal. Well, the proprietor's here. Hello, Joe. I want you to meet a couple of friends of mine. They're my guests here, hmm? Jay Abbott, shake hands with Joe over there. Where is he? Right over there by the bar. Hello, Joe. Joe, shake hands with Luke Costello, Joe Small. Who? Joe Small. He's so small I can't even see him. Hands with him. Hi, Joe. What do you have to drink? What do you have? Uh, I'll have a beer. Set up a beer for the band. What do you have? Small cream soda. Small, small cream soda? Yeah. <laughs> Give him a small cream soda. He's a nice little chap. <laughs> There's your beer, my boy. There's your cream. I'll have a beer, too. Well, here's luck. <sighs> Soothing, huh? Can I have another one? Surely you can, boy. Only this time I'd like to have a big one. I, I couldn't even feel the last one. You'd like a big drink? Yeah, big cream well, soda. Well, that's quite all right with us. Uh, say, Joe, I'll tell you what you do. He'd like to have a big drink. Let him drink out of that cut glass bowl. Hmm? It's an old family heirloom. I'll stand behind him. Just fill it up. The cut glass bowl, that's it. Yours was a beer, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, same thing. There's your beer, my boy. Cut glass bowl. That's it. Oh, right to the brim, too. Yeah. Get a hold of this bowl, will you? What do you got? Filled up with cream soda. Get a hold of it. Put your arms around it. But hold on tight. Stick your hands in it. That's fine. Don't oh, drop it. That's expensive. Don't huh? drop it. Well, here's luck. Joe, I didn't mean to, Joe. I didn't mean to do it. It was heavy, Joe. I'm here to pay you for it. I didn't... Don't. Look, you better sweep up the face. Joe, I'm... Who am I talking to? Come on, Joe has a national temper. Let's get after it. Hey, nothing on the floor. Sweep it up. Sweep it up. Come on, get going. The people around here will grab a cut. Joe, I don't like that nasty look in your face. Well, it was an accident. He didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to be honest, I didn't. I told you I'd stand behind him. I haven't got the money now, but I'll do it here. Don't worry about and it, Joe. Next week, I have a lot of money for my uncle. But Joe, listen. Now, wait a minute. Don't come on. in the car. You've got to have dogs in a dog sled to do mushing. How can you do mushing in a car? Now, come on. Let's get out of the bank. As soon as the bank opens, we'll make our loan and get that trip of ours off our chest. You know, there's only... It's open. Open? How can it be? What time you got? Well, it's not banking hours. How can the door be open? I... Hey, there's something wrong. Come on. Come on. Hey, look. Come on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
They're all tied up. Hey, fellas, what happened? Oh, stop this mumble. Now, what happened? That's enough, fellas. If you don't want to tell me what happened, then we can't help you. Can't you see he's got a gag in his mouth? Well, if he has, he never had a chance to tell her. We've got to help him. Uh-oh, look who's here. Take it easy now. Why, Lewis. Hillary. What are you doing here? The bank, bank is closed. Oh, well, I saw the door open, so I came in. What are you doing here? Well? Ah, uh, it's nice to see that you're trying to work. I'd like to make a deposit. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Now, wait a minute, Bud. What are you doing with that money? What's the matter with you? You can't take that money. Now, listen. Everybody around here thinks I'm a dope, but the one thing I am not is dishonest. What do you think I was going to do, steal it? Well, I don't know, but put that money in the drawer where it belongs. Oh, they are. That's much better. What's the matter? What's that button on the floor? I don't know. Now you did it. What's that? That was a burglar alarm. Well, I asked you what it was tonight. Well, you're old enough to know. What? Come on, let's get out of here. What's that? What's that? Hold up in the bank. He was shot. What? Yeah. What happened? He was shot in the bank. What were you two doing in the bank? We went in to make a loan. His uncle struck a rich up in Alaska. Gold. He struck gold. Plenty of gold. Gold? Yeah. yeah he struck gold. I did, struck a bullet. Did you get the loan? No, we couldn't get the loan. Now we can't go up and collect the, the gold. Well, uh, you need a partner? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, sure. We can use a partner, can we, bud? Sure. Well, I got a little money. How much? Well, I think about $200. Oh, sure. <laughs> a partner to gold mine. Yeah. Put it right over there. There. Okay, partner. You're in. <laughs> oh, now I'm awfully sorry for everything I've ever done to you, Lou. Mr. Abbott, you take him right home and take good care of him. Right away. Remember, we're partners. Right off. Go home. I'm rich. <laughs> Putting on a mustache so that cop won't recognize me. Step, step it, Joe. Shot him with a knife. Joe. Joe. He's all laid out. Joe. Blood. Blood. I took it straight. Joe, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Ding, 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 ding. Don't take me! Please don't take me! Please don't take me to the gallows! Please! I'm innocent! I'm a little boy! My uncle just struck gold! Please let me go to Alaska! Don't take me, will you please? Come up for a minute! Please, Joe! Don't let him take me, Joe! Speak to me, Joe! Don't let him take me, will you? <laughs> Everything is in fun. And we do have a lot of fun between ourselves. You'd be, I, it, hey, wait a minute. How come you got dried so fast? I stayed out in the sun. Yeah. And another thing while we're on our subject. How come you and the other guy, when you did the thing in a, that saloon there about give me the stuff, uh, you didn't get it? <laughs> yeah, give you what stuff? You know, when you says, they got me by the throat, they got me by the throat, well, call the cops. Right. What'd you do, Joe? Bang, bang. So, give me the stuff, give me the stuff. What? You didn't get it, but I got it. What stuff? When, when, I'm not going to say it because I ain't going to get it anymore. Nah, well, listen, we've got to get some money. I've got it. What? We'll go up and put a touch on Mr. Fields. We'll go see Mr. Fields? Mr. Fields. Okay. The second act is now on. <laughs> what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Make a pig pen out of my place? Castello, Castello. Yeah. You imbecile! What are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Fields. What are you nervous about? You're ruining my place. Right. Do you realize what you've done? Now pack your things and get out of here. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Fields. I want to show you something. Take a look at that wire. Just take a look at it. 
My uncle struck gold in Alaska. Well, That's Costello, all. this is wonderful. Well, my boy. Ah. Oh, you're getting dirty. Oh, well, I'll help finance your trip. You, you need some money? Oh, well, we could use a few dollars. That's yes. fine. Now, promise me one thing. Yeah, what? When you come back from Alaska, bring me some of that gold ore. Gold ore? Yes. Gold ore what? Just gold ore. Well, it's got to be gold or something. Gold or nothing. Just gold or. It can't be gold or nothing. It's got to be gold or something. No, no, no. You don't understand. You see, gold... Will you get off your knees and help Mr. Fields? Why? I think he's falling asleep. I... I'll have to wake him up. Fine. Come on, boy. Come on. Wake up, boy. Wake up. This is no time to fall asleep. You've got to help me with Mr. Abbott here. Wake up. What's the matter with you? I'm up. you got to help me. Oh, well, for heaven. I've got to take care of you first. I gotta get him out of that hole so he can help me get you out of the bucket. Here, here, come on, that way. <clears throat> no. What are you trying to pay me? Don't get excited. I'm an engineer, you know. Wait a minute, I got it. I got it. No. <clears throat> what <are> you... <clears throat> no, I got it. This is a problem in leverage, my boy. <laughs> Leave it to old Fieldy. I'll get you out of there in no time. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Leverage, that's the secret. Now, put your chin under there. That's the boy now. Are you ready? Hold tight now. Don't get excited. One. Two. No, I'm sorry. That didn't work either. Mr. Fields. Yeah? Just what are you trying to do? I've got to get you out of that hole. Why didn't you say so? Hold that chisel. Get come me out of here. Hold that cold chisel. We'll take one more try with the sledgehammer. Now, come on, hold it. Now, wait out it? of his way. Just a minute. minute. Just a minute. Put this over your shoulder. I want to okay. see where this is going to hit if I'm going to hold it. Come on, me. hold it. Now, wait a minute. Over this way a little further. Okay. Now, go ahead. Are you ready now? One. Go ahead. I'm not nervous. <laughs> Assassins just tried to kill me with this. I'm no stool pigeon. He did it. You... Mr. Mike, I'm glad you got here. We've got to get this man out of the cement. We're in trouble. Well, if it's trouble you're in, I'm your man. Oh, yeah, that is hard. Well, we'll have to blast him out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Have you got any gunpowder? That's the one thing I don't happen to have right now. Oh, well, never mind. I'll take some out of these cartridges. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to blast you out. Oh. Mr. Fields, will you dig a hole in there? Well, sure, hey. I'll be glad to. What do you What do you want me to do? If I told you, you wouldn't do it. <laughs> All right, now, a little bit more. <clears throat> ah, just stick around. You're going to see something. I, I, I think he's right. I'm going to see plenty. Now, when I touch a match to that, it'll explode, and that man will be free. I well, hope he did. Oh, well, maybe so, but you want him out of the bucket, don't you? Well, I never thought of that. Yeah. He's right, Evan. Now, here, give me your foot. Huh? Give me your foot. I want to land a match. Give me your... Just now on. <laughs> what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Make a pig pen out of my place? Castello, Castello. Yeah. You imbecile! What are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Fields. What are you nervous about? You're ruining my place. Right. Do you realize what you've done? Now pack your things and get out of here! Now, wait a minute, Mr. Fields. I want to show you something. Take a look at that wire. Just take a look at it. My uncle struck gold in Alaska. Oh, That's Costello, all. this is wonderful. Well, my boy. Ah. Oh, you're getting dirty. Oh, well, I'll help finance your trip. You, you need some money? Oh, well, we could use a few dollars. That's yes. fine. Now, promise me one thing. Yeah, what? When you come back from Alaska, bring me some of that gold ore. Gold ore? Yes. Gold ore what? Just gold ore. Well, it's got to be gold or something. Gold or nothing. Just gold or. It can't be gold or nothing. It's got to be gold or something. No, no, no. You don't understand. You see, gold comes from ore. You see, first you dig the gold, and then you smell it. How, how could I smell it if I got a cold? No, never mind the cold. You smelt the ore. You, you see, you've got to smell it. First you dig the gold up, and then you smell it. 
Why should I dig the gold up if it's gonna smelt? If you, it smelts, I ain't gonna dig it up. You must dig it up. I won't dig it up. If it's gonna smelt, I'm gonna leave it in the ground and I'm gonna shove dirt on it and bury it deeper and deeper. No, no, no. You don't understand what I'm trying to explain to you is that you've got to smelt the gold. First you smelt it and then it comes out refined. But that doesn't make any sense. I mean, if the gold is smelt and you smelt the gold, why is it re so refined and why does it smell? Costello! Costello, what are you doing out there? Hey, Abbott, come here. <laughs> Mr. Fields is going to finance our trip to Alaska. Well, wonderful, Mr. Fields. And when we get to Alaska, we'll send Mr. Fields some gold ore. Gold ore what? Uh, now, that's enough for that. Don't give me that single routine that Mr. Fields... I'm not, I don't, I don't want to... You know, it's not polite to sneeze when I'm talking. Well, my foot is ringing wet. I've got to go and change my shoes. I, I'll see you later, mister. i got to help him. My best tenant. Uh, great boy. Get your shoes and socks off. off. I'll get the pail of water over there and I'm going to fix your old feet up. Well, go ahead and do it. Stand out the hall in, argue and argue. Take it easy now. Wait till I get my socks off. Okay. Put them in there. All right. Now, what I got to put in there? Uh, get the uh, Epsom salts. Don't it look like a house mother? Yeah, you're all right. Go ahead and get it. What's the matter with you? I never again want to hear anything like that from you, Bud Abbott. You are besmirching the good name of Lou Costello when you say to me that I gotta go down in the mine and strike my mother in the vein while she's carrying a load. Bud Abbott, that's going too far. And I don't go for this. I don't go for it. I'm gonna kick you right in the head. Uh, what's the matter? I can't move. I'm paralyzed. Paralyzed? Yeah. You didn't even have a drink. I, no. I can't move my legs. Are you sure you can't move? I can't move. Positive? Positive, look. Let me see you try to... Look at that. You can't do nothing. I can't do nothing. Well, just a minute. You know, Bud Abbott, I've been waiting to get you in something like this for a long time. What do you mean? And you can't move. I can't move. Positively? Positively. You know what I'm going to do to you? What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't you ever do that to me. Get me out of this. What did you do? What did you put in here? I put in the Epsom salts. That is not Epsom salts. That's what I put in. I'll get the box. Let me here. see it. Epsom salts. Epsom, Epsom salts. There it is. Cement. 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 All right, so get me out of this. Will you watch your blood pressure? I'll get you out. Get me out of I'll this. Get me out. Take it easy. Fire! 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 What are you hollering fire for? If I yell cement, you think anybody's gonna come? Get me out of here. Get me out. I don't care how you. Fire! Get, get me out. Fire! Where's the fire? Get me out of this thing. Look what he did to me. Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Get me out of this thing. What's the matter? He put some in here. I can't well, move. Now, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't you're worry. very fortunate. I'll figure this thing out. It so happens that you're very lucky. I'm lucky. I went to engineering school for four years, and I'll take care of it. Get you out of there in a minute. Get me out of here. You got a cold chisel? Cold chisel. Just so happens, I have one on me. I... No. How about a sledgehammer? Sledgehammer. How about one of those little ones that I knocked the tax on the wall to keep the pictures? All on? right, get that. Anything. Get me out Take of here. Easy. Take it easy. Take, Take it, it easy. Tree. All right, Mr. Abbott, now you hold this right here. Uh, now you hold that. Hold the chisel. Good. Now, take it easy. I'll do the rest. Now. Take it easy now. One, two. Go ahead. <laughs> I thought, Mr. Rabbit. Yes. We'll have to figure out something else. Let me see. Costello. Will you Costello. get off your knees and help Mr. Fields? Why? I think he's fallen asleep. I... I'll have to wake him up. Fine. Come on, boy. Come on. Wake up, boy. Wake up. This is no time to fall asleep. You've got to help me with Mr. Rabbit here. Wake up. What's the matter with you? I'm up. you got to help me. Oh, well, for heaven. I've got to take care of you first. I gotta get him out of that hole so he can help me get you out of the bucket. Here, here, come on, that way. <clears throat> no. What are you trying to hang me? 